Here's everything I know about Eastern Hop Hornbeam in under 90 seconds. It's called a lot of different names. The Latin name of this tree species is Ostrea virginiana. It's actually in the birch family. The name that I call it is Hop Hornbeam. The hop part of that comes from the fact that it has these seeds that are in this little papery packet, born in these clusters that look like hops. Old timers in Vermont will call this species hardack. I've also heard it called leverwood and ironwood. The reason that it's called ironwood is because it has this incredibly dense hardwood. It's an awesome firewood, but it's like almost impossible to split. It was traditionally used for things like tool handles, mallets, and levers. In Vermont, where we typically find hop hornbeam, is on thin soils. Usually they don't get much bigger around than four or five inches in diameter, but occasionally they will get large. Whenever they get big like that, they just look like they know that this is not something that they're supposed to do. The leaves of hop hornbeam are not really distinctive, I learned to identify the bark as French fry bark because it peels in these thin rectangular shreds that look like French fries. Hop hornbeam seeds are eaten by all kinds of different critters. They're thought to be particularly important for larger birds like ruffed grouse. One interesting thing about the ecology of hop hornbeam here in Vermont is that it's considered a non-preferred browse species for white-tailed deer. So where white-tailed deer are overpopulated, these non-preferred species, which are just species that deer don't like to eat, they'll become more common in the forest because all of the other species that deer like to eat will have been effectively weeded out by deer. So where we have these increasing overpopulations of white-tailed deer, sometimes we'll see more and more and more hop hornbeam. So there's everything I know about this scrappy little guy, Eastern hop hornbeam.